Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we'll see how to convert a square wave into a pulse wave or signal in your simulating model. So let's begin. First and foremost, we'll create a new simulating model, blank model. It may take a while to create, so you may have to wait. It loads all the libraries uh, related to simulating. It may take some time over here. Once your model comes up or the additive window comes up, we can first save this as a file. So I'll just press Ctrl S and I can save it as you can name it anything. So square to pulse where slash. Now first and foremost, what we'll do in this model is we'll first create a square wave generator. Yeah, we can use this one and we will leave all the settings as whatever the default settings they give and what else we'll do is we'll now convert this uh, into a pulse wave so but before let me do one more thing let me bring out a scope and uh, so and a scope with two inputs probably so i can let me first open this scope yeah and go to settings change number of inputs to two and layout also probably i can use is two layouts yeah so now I have two axes and two plots where respective output will come. So first one I can put it directly so let's see how the waveform comes, the square waveform, and then I can convert in parallel to a pulse waveform. So for that, what I'll do is I'll first use the delay block and I'll delay the signal by say for example one time period, and then I'll use a difference block so although i'm calling sum and then i change it to plus and minus which is basically first port will be for plus second port will be for subtraction yeah so and then i'll use this over here subtract and yeah and then yeah the square waveform will be in the addition part so minus with a delay of uh, one time period it is subtracting over here and then what i can do is i can use a switch block it's a very simple implementation i'm going to do over here and i'll see whenever it's uh, positive this difference then transmit this otherwise transmit a value of zero so what i can do is i can change it to zero and yeah and this I can give it to this one. Perfect. So I think that's all. Let me quickly run and see how it comes up. We may have to do some kind of settings on the video steps and all. So I'm running it. Yeah. So let me see. Perfect. So if you see, it comes as a square wave from the first signal and then the second signal is a pulse wave. But it's still, let me define it a little bit further. So I'll do one more thing. I'll just change this time period to probably say 50 could be too much for 40. And also in this settings, what I'll do is instead of using value step, I'll go and use the fixed step. So I click the fixed step, and in the fixed step size, I'll give the step size. So I'll give probably 0 0.1, and then click OK. So. 40 could also be too much probably let me first start with 20 something like it to see how it comes up so i run it again and let me bring this up again perfect now if you see this looks much better so we have around three cycles of the square wave form and for every cycle where there is an up trigger it gets changed into a pulse a very pointed pulse it depends of course the on the time period uh, but yeah, we can see how easy it is. So let me explain you the logic quickly. So what I'm doing is, is first I'm creating a square waveform over here, and then I'm subtracting with a delay of one time period the waveform. So say for example, whenever it comes here, so my current time is uh, current value is one. However, the previous value is still zero, so it will give me one minus zero is one, and then then that I'm transmitting as uh, if it's one, take the one as an output. However, the moment it goes to the second time period, now the second current time period and uh, previous time period both is 1, so the output will be 0 over here, so it will transmit 0 over here. 
know some of you would be wondering what's the use of this switch case because anyway we are transmitting 0 when it's 0. So what will happen is if we don't use switch case it will go to the negative whenever this is falling edge. So that's what I wanted to avoid so I can quickly show you uh, that also in this video. So I will directly connect to this output rather than the output of switch block and see how the output comes. So if you see here captures both rising edge and falling edge plus my, uh, 1 minus 1. So if you want to use this kind of waveform then directly use the output from this difference block you don't need this switch block concept however i just wanted to capture the rising as a pulse waveform so for that reason i need to connect over here like this yes perfect so that's all i wanted to show you so let's just quickly give some notations a square wave to pulse wave over here and yeah so that's all uh, i wanted to show you in this video i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye